What's this up, people? We got Steve O coming today, the man, the myth. We got him a fresh Capra. Shout out to Mitch from Pushies for that. Um, so we're gonna build it up and maybe go for a quick rip. I'm still off with a broken hand, so just training, trying to keep busy. Not long now. It's actually scary how not long now it is. Three weeks till Medina. Man. Steve O, mate. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> This is uh, Steve O's TV workshop. Rack off, dog. Don't be thing. trying to commandeer the Moonway TV workshop. What do you got here? Ah, I think the fans will. Hot dang. Be able to figure that one out pretty quick. Um, just so you know, people, Steve hasn't been on in a while, but as in true Steve O fashion, he's right. How many hours late are you? I, I don't know that I'm at that many hours late. Maybe an hour and a half. So uh, an hour and a half. <laughs> Whoa, it's. What time is it currently? One thirty. I sent Steve a message saying, come in the morning. Uh, it might take us a while and I'm pretty busy in the afternoon. He gets here one thirty. <laughs> one thirty in the afternoon. Reggie, mate. He was, how do you... He was holding up. How do you even survive with a father like that? Does he feed <laughs> you on time? Probably doesn't feed you till midnight. Do I, <laughs> do I need to ring child services? Animal <laughs> services? I just don't know how you survive, brother. Is he late to doggy daycare when he picks you up? <laughs> All right, well, do us the uh, honours. Slice it open. Well, where are the, where's the slice and dicer? Um, the state of my toolbox is horrendous. Oh. There you go, brother. Oh, yes. It's all yours. What colour's he gone? Who knows? Steve-O was going to buy one of my bikes from last year. And I was like, nah, mate. Let's get you something nice. Nice and easy. So, our boy Mitch from Pushies. Pushies Online has hooked up a fresh Capra. Oh, get it out. Get it out of the box, Steve. I'm going to get all the little bits. I can't wait any longer, mate. You changed a few bits up too, eh? You got the full work spec. Yeah, this is a Steve-O edition. If you call up and say, I want whatever Steve-O's got, that's probably <laughs> tell you to go jam it, because I don't think he wants to do that again. <laughs> the Steve-O edition. Oi, me first. Oh, me first. Read the instructions, dude. I'm not an instructions guy. Bro, why TV coming with everything, boy? What have we got? He's got the bottle and all. First, first Master 10,000. The First Master 6,000. Mm -hmm. All right. You got a skull or gold bomber out of that before we... <laughs> oh, it's got the cage as well. Here, wait up. That's my ass, Oh, it's, it smells a bit black. Oh, give us a cheeky one. A few bangs. That's delicious. This is probably going to ruin this bottle. No <laughs> way. Pour it in, Steve. Pour it in, brother. E a bit carbonated, by the way. Yeah, well, it was a pretty oh, gnarly pour on you. Pretty hard to get into that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Knock your socks off. <laughs> okay. What do we got in oh, here? Oh, welcome to the family. Yeah, welcome to the family. Capra. Read first and unpack. We'll leave that for later. Adult and juvenile. Yeah, you're a juvenile, so. <laughs> <laughs> get your own little toolbox and that. Hey. Hey, did they pack little a little kit? Did they pack a painty in here? <laughs> nah, it doesn't come with a painty, but you got your own little kit so you can be your own painty, bro. Yeah. That's mad. I want to be He's painty. even got the carbon fiber tool kit. <laughs> shock set up. Snuck him in there. Steve O's gone for the Rock Shocks edition. He knows what's up. Got the Zeb on the front. Super Deluxe on the rear, Steve? Yeah, you know it. Was it? Uh -huh. Yeah. Wasn't sure if you got in coil or. You could be one of those people oh, that reads that? pink bike too much. I don't know. Oh, that's icy as. Straight onto the Mitsubishi keyring. Why didn't I get one of those? Get her in the stand, bro. Oh, he's gone black. Murdered. Oh, I'm getting it tight, brother. You don't want it sliding out. All right, we got a D plastic it. This is your bin, which you'll be taking with you. 
We don't leave any rubbish uh, in Kev's chop shop. Definitely staying. Uh. No, no chance, dude. You've been swimming, Reggie Bush Bush. Oh, really? <laughs> it's a bit hot out today, eh, Where Breaver? Did you go, bud? He's been for a dippy chow. I knew you'd get in there sooner or later. Yeah, now go get in Daddy's nice leather seats. Go on. You want some money? <laughs> Money's in the bowl. <laughs> All right, Steve-O. Um, I'm sure some of the newer viewers are asking, who is Steve-O? What's he doing in Kev's chop shop? Because um, you haven't been showing up lately, mate. What's yeah. been happening? I mean... Sleeping up there. No new viewers are going to know who you are. Only the OG Moi Moi TV gang is going to know who the one and only Steve-O is. So tell us a bit about yourself then. Oh, no. Dicing up with the oldies. <laughs> <laughs> Playing a bit of bingo in that. Dicing <laughs> it up. He's gone that rental bar and stem. Tell us a bit about your build, Steve. Yeah, so the only hectic mods that I went and did was the fork and shock because we want that fox shit out of there straight up. <laughs> um, <laughs> and now we are you just four hall shran and rock shops. Yeah, baby. For a one-stop shop. You've gone for the cable setup. Yeah, go on the cords. There's a few uh, top secret bits coming. So Why are you still running cable? There's a... Uh, there's a few top secret bits coming, you know. <laughs> what? <laughs> I said... That, um, if I'm ever out on the trails and trying to lasso some wild brumbies in, I just need to have a spare cable around, and I can't do that if I've got this wireless gear on. Fair call, fair call. What pedals do you go? Yeah, Wayne Brothers action. Hey! Back on the clips, yeah, until I get Scorpion, then I'll be back on the flats. Yeah, because you're a flat demon. You've been a flat demon. I almost forgot about the tidiest little addition that I did. What's these that? are These nice thick boys, the HS2 rotors. Oh, he's got the fresh rotors on there as well. Yeah. How'd you get those? I asked for them. You just go and upgrade, a uh, rotor upgrade. I said, yeah, a quick rotor upgrade, would you? Is that what I've got on this? Yeah. Wait, you got... Those are the old ones. You got better rotors than me, Steve. What the hell, Steve? We need to get that fixed up, mate. That's nah, I got the good ones on me red rocket, but it's not here yet. Because Qatar tried to charge me 4,000 euros to get that thing home. That and the Jesse. So it's coming this weekend with major pain. And me and Stags, you got a bike check coming. So keep your eyes out for that. It's going to be hectic. But yeah, my new bike's got all the goods on it. I can tell you that. You good? No, I don't think so. <laughs> what are you yeah. up to, bro? Jeez. Jeez, it's a bit tight when she's a fresh clutch. What are you trying to do here? Just trying to... Work. You need to push the button in. Yeah, I'm trying to do that. Yeah, I just make sure it's on an angle and turn it as hard as you can until it gets easy. <laughs> Then just never take it back out again, right? Alright. It's a and you should be sweet. One, one out sort of job. Yeah. Oh, you've had it frame skinned as well. Yeah, I had the whole thing frame skinned. What frame skin are you using? Um, Mr. Allen at a frame skin in Canberra just went and ripped into it. Is that the brand, frame skin? Yeah. Oh, it actually looks real good, eh? Because you can't imagine me running around the shed doing that, can you? Does he do special... Capra ones, or yeah, is he, he just does. what you can just buy him, or he just just for me? You, I was the first one, <laughs> actually. <laughs> no. Oh, you're a bit of a big deal around these parts, so I don't know if you're joking or not. Hey, tidy, bro. Oh, there he is, there, frame skin. Nice. I might have to get onto him. Where's that gear that you got here that you don't use properly? Got that big filthy cap. Do you know what I'm talking about? What are you talking about? This whole <laughs> this whole setup's in disarray. <laughs> Dude, don't be coming into Kev's chop shop and ripping my setup. We've all seen your toolbox at a rimba that time. <laughs> it was the most horrendous thing I've ever seen. That was the day only toolbox. It had like three rusty screwdrivers in it, which you don't even use screwdrivers on mountain bikes. Here it is. 
Oh, right, Grace. All you have to say is Grace, bro, and I can tell you where it is. How is this fresh piece that just rocked up? Speed frame to match me full face. This thing is off its head. AP designs times Fox, baby. We got the monster on there. Quad lock. Frothing. There's a small head. That's like a top hat for you. <laughs> wow. I'll wear it to a party. Bro. Steve runs double XL. Is it double XL? It is. Or triple? That's how it should fit. We got a measurement on that chrome dome of yours, boy. It's a 62 centimeter beast. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> yeah, I had no grease at home. I was like, oh, I better drive two hours in here, Jack. <laughs> So yeah, I've got a bit of a zizz up going on. That. Oh, what? Listen to that zizz. Yeah, dude, those are pretty sick. The engagement. Oh. I've got the DTs on mine. I wouldn't mind trying those i9 hubs, but on DT rims. Hey, I'm a big yeah. DT rim guy. So. Apparently these rims are pretty foldable, so we'll see how it goes with the... Pretty what? Foldable, like you just smash them up. Are they carbon ones? No. Oh, alloy, yeah. yeah. Apparently the carbon ones are really good. But, rims get smashed, dude. Hey, but those... Uh, I smash rims. You've seen me smash rims at a race, and you smash them back with rocks and shit. Those, those FR560s, they don't be smashing too often. Nah, they're pretty pretty damn good. That's why I'm running with them, bro. They're just a safe option. They feel good. Hey. Not too stiff, but still strong. It still looks like... I'm actually frothing the black, dude. It's not as good as the red rocket. You should see that bloody red one glisten in the sun. Yeah. The I'm... paint actually looks hectic. Oh my god! <laughs> I would have stayed full banana man if it. Oh, yellow, yeah. Casper has the yellow one. It looks sick. It's like gold, sort of. That one, I dinted me wheels up and got a flat because I had the XO. Downhill casing, baby. That's what you want. Unless you're a smooth operator, I'm a hack behind the bars, eh? You know I just like to swing off it, Steve-O. Yeah, I'm a hack daddy as well. Those Adam Lab ribs are meant to be unbreakable, but not if you just throw them. Adam it. Lab! <laughs> what year was that when we ran those? Like 2011? Back in the day, those Adam Lab rims and you remember the were indestructible with the special nipples. As if we were breaking wheels and we weighed like <laughs> probably 50, 40 kilos. Pretty up to you, Reg. New cruiser. How's me worms going? There they are. Loves the compost. You got a compost going, Steve-O? Not like that one. That one is next level. Yeah, that one is. Reggie, get out of there. He's drinking the worm juice, bro. <laughs> Have you not been bloody giving him water? Are you healthy, mate? That's not good, Reg. Well, it's actually pretty nutritious, but it's for the plants. Get some on this pandemic. Keep frothing. Yeah, boy. Get some on the Madagascar palm. Look at this thing. And me new cactus. G got me a new cactus for my birthday. It's sick. You should get the cushy ODI grips. These ones. Oh, I'm a bit of a, I'm a bit, a bit of a fan of those Greg Menard bar, um, bartender ones from Bergtech. What's that? The Bergtech grips. They're on my knocker now. I'll, they're the best thing ever. The best thing ever, he reckons. Best thing ever, he reckons. I'll be the judge of that. Yeah, they are pretty good. What? What are your thoughts on the grips? They're not bad. Yeah. They are actually pretty cushy, but they don't beat an ODI. Oh, they definitely do. I might try a sec. That's probably the best thing about your deal. You can just be like, oh yeah, I'll give that a run. Yeah, we can try whatever we want. It's mad. That is mad. That is uncaged, bro. Uncaged? There? Let's live uncaged. That's how the mob do it, man. The mob don't give a fuck. Dude, you got your own toolkit. Oh, Reggie! All over me fresh concrete, bro. <laughs> what the hell? I just painted that. And I did it with one hand too, so it was even harder than normal. 
Put a polish that off, because if you leave it in there too long, your water's going to taste like money forever. Well, is that a bad thing? <laughs> Probably not, actually. <laughs> You're still putting this in, Steve. Yeah, I'll be here all week. Through my God. Uh, the tool just won't go deep enough. You know a lot about tools not going deep enough, eh, boy? It's just the thing that I'm good at. <laughs> Hurry up. I want to see you tear the head off this thing. Brother. I need to cut this off with the grinder. No, don't touch any of me tools with a grinder. <laughs> Get your own tools and start cutting them up with grinders. Oh, he's got a special tool. Okay, okay, cool. This is the Allen key that Steve-O just took two hours to, what'd you do, get a couple threads in? Steve? Yeah. Yeah. And see how you can get the whole bolt in in like 10 seconds? I didn't know you had this uh, special... All you got to do, mate, is just use the right tool for the job. It's pretty simple, really. Didn't your dad ever teach you to use the right tool for the job, mate? Otherwise, don't even bother at all. I'll show you how to tune some gears, bro. Yeah. They do look pretty good now. Apart from the fact they're not dropping down. They don't call me Kevin Gear Changer for nothing. <laughs> thing. All right, whack your first master in. Oh, he's finished it. Yeah, polish her off. Polish her off, whack her in. We'll top her up before we go out for a quick shred. Maybe take, maybe put it on low instead of high. Oh, he's going for his flip chip. You do want it on low. Yeah, grease up your shaft, boy. All right. Nobody likes a dry shaft, eh? Pick up the back end for me, would you? Okay, final touches for any bite coming out of Kev's chop shop. Would be my honour, Steve. Right there, you want it? Too bad, that's where I'm putting it. That actually looks sick. No, I like that. Bones, bro. <laughs> That's going on my red rocket as soon as it rocks up in Oz. <laughs> there it is. Wheels the ground, baby. Yeah, Steve. Oh. How's she feel, mate? Get him, Reggie. You look good on a YT, bro. Dude, I love the black. The black actually looks hectic. Yeah, put the seat down. That's a bit of a... <laughs> Holy shit. How's the gooch tickler on him? Hey, You'd like that, eh? It's right up in there. You'd like that, eh, Steve? -o? A bit of a tickle. Just jam it. <laughs> a quick on. Yeah, sure. That's a big boy. Don't go so far. <laughs> He's gone for it. Got it. He's commandeering that stick, bro. Good boy, Mr. Reggie. How's it crazy? It's just like we're driving along a footpath. Mate, it's the bloody Trido. Give it some, Steve. That's tough, bro. Tough mudder. Do you for me? Nothing frightens a Triton. Got him. He knows what's up, eh? Triton, Yakima, YT. What the whole He's got the whole set up. We like that shit, Steve O. Part of the YT gang. We've got him a little set up. YT mob, baby. That's mad. It matches your shorts. <laughs> That's off its head, Gary. You ready to kick it and rip it, yeah. Steve? You gotta drip it to rip it. 
<laughs> What's you saying? What I say? I forget. It was something mad, but. Yeah, I like stupid to rip it. That means you've got to squirt to get after it. Alright. We're just heading up the hill. See who's taking the new horse for a rip. Hopefully he gets wild for us, eh? In true Steve O fashion. Surely he will. He's got that new bike froth. Bit of Kodak courage. Perfect recipe to swing off it. All right, first ride. Hold on to it, Gary. Don't get too excited because there's a camera out. Oh, his brakes aren't bedded. The old go to brake last minute and your brakes don't even work because they're brand new out the box. Yeah. That'll get you every time. These grass trees are hectic. He loves to flick it. The clips are like, oh. Oh, he's back on the clips. <laughs> How long ago was the last time you owed clips? Probably a year or so, two. Two years off the clips, yeah. Be careful. <laughs> oh, Steve! Steve O breaks traction. We have evidence of loss of traction, rider, Stevo. How is it so quiet? Oh, they're quiet as hell, eh? This track's pretty smooth though, like most bikes would be quiet on it. Wait till you ride down a real rocky track and it makes no noise. It's off its head. I spent like 12 months trying to silence my Norco. Yeah. No, nah, that, that's what I said to Payne, they're quiet as hell. I'm like, what'd you do to this thing? <laughs> <Woo! laughs> MotoGP, Steve! Man. Yeah, sick. <laughs> I just don't know what I'm doing yet. Hey, green on <laughs> him! <laughs> Ew! Oh, sending in. Bad, Steve. Good exit speed. That's a hard corner to carry speed out of sometimes. Good exit speed. Okay. Okay. You kicked it and ripped it, boy. Fair shake of the sauce bottle, that one, Gary. That was mad. You think because you can't be on the horse, you can just start tearing up the trails, do you? Swing. Is that what you think? This clip's called the two step. I'm going to get it there. I'm going to step up there and I'm going to get the next section the Kevin two step. In. Yeah, Steve. And that is a wrap with Scuba Steve. That's a wrap, Steve. What are we saying, Steve? First ride on the Cappy. The Cappy Capra. I love it. It's so quiet. And like, Almost annoyingly stable. Annoyingly stable. You want to flick it? 
little bit. Wait till you get onto the high speed, bro. You're gonna love yeah, that. It's sick. Or like loose flat corners. It holds its line so well. It does feel shorter in the back than the North Over. Really? Like easier to pull it up. I haven't looked at the stats on a Norco. Is that it? You are brave, dude. You're not gonna give it the not going anywhere tap? It's not going anywhere. We like that shit. <laughs> you like that shit? This is called that shit, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs>